Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and today I want to show you how I put this iron coating from Sculpt Nouveau over the Raven that I showed you a few days ago. If you'd like to, to either see how the Raven was built um, or to find the actual recipe for the air dry clay, both of those are on both YouTube and on my blog. Just either search for um, air dry clay or raven and you can find those. But today we're going to actually see how the uh, coating went on. Before I get to that though, I want to let you know that my daughter is uh, offering a free online class. She's an oil painter. She does some fabulous work. Uh, she's really got a handle on color and that's what this class is going to be all about. Um, I believe don't hold me to this, but I think that she's actually going to be giving feedback to individuals and that's the reason why she's only going to be offering this class to 20 people. It's free. I signed up <laughs> because uh, color is uh, something that I've always had a hard time with. I can, I can reproduce color, but I can't come up with, n with new combinations and um, I, re I really want to know how to do it, so I went ahead and signed up. Uh, she's got 14 more more spaces as of this morning. So if you would like to be in on that, I'm going to put the link to her blog. Um, it's right down below here. So just go ahead and click on that. Um, and or, or you can, of course, search for Jessie Rashi if you want to up on um, Google. Um, and next, uh, before I actually show you how the iron goes on here, um, I also wanted to let you know that I intended to show you a few clips that I took when I was putting the uh, air dry clay on the Raven. I I had the camera turned on. <laughs> I really thought that I was going to be able to show you how the how the wing details, uh, the feathering and and uh, the tails and all that. Um, when I went back and looked at it this morning, it was just so dark. I don't. I must have forgotten to turn on the light or something. So sorry. Um, next time. Maybe I'll do another bird one of these days. Also, um, I did spray this. You're going to see in the, in the next few clips that the raven turned red instead of white, and that's because I put this, um, it's called ruddy brown primer. It's really an iron oxide color, which is nice because if you miss a couple of spots, um, <laughs> it really doesn't matter very much. It won't show. So um, let me show you how this was done. I'm going to put this cat down. She's heavy. Let's start on the bottom here. I'm using a cheap uh, chip brush that I get from the hardware store. I just happen to like them. You can use any brush you want, but these are cheap, and I just grab a, a handful of them every time I go in. Put on a really uh, thin coat the first layer. And before it dries, you go ahead and um, kind of tap it like this. It makes sure that there aren't going to be any brush marks. I'm going to be putting on a, a, a patina, it's called Tiffany Green. And when it's used with, with the uh, bronze, it actually does turn it green. But when it's used with the iron coating, it uh, causes rust. The bottom's dry now. I'm just going to do the, do the top real quick. Oops, making a mess. This is acrylic, of course, so it doesn't take very long to dry. And as soon as this um, layer is dry, coat I should say, as soon as this coat is dry, I'll go ahead and put on the second coat and I'll, uh, before then, hopefully I'll have found that Tiffany patina. It's somewhere in the closet, I'm sure. And then we'll see if we can get some interesting um, rusty cast iron going on here. This is the second coat. And since this is the bottom, I'll get to test out the patina and see if I see how much I actually want on here. I'm really starting to like it. I think it's going to be nice. It's um, obscuring some of the detail, but that's okay because I actually put more detail on than I really intended to, <laughs> so this is softening it up just a little bit. Not much. I mean. It, it, it really isn't um, covering much of it up, but just just enough to kind of soften it and make it look a little bit more like a traditional um, cast iron item. 
it isn't heavy. <laughs> That's going to be about the only difference. Be, be kind of fun to do an, um, a bulldog, one of those bulldogs, you know, that, that is sit at the or front door and fill it with plaster or concrete or something so that it actually did weigh like uh, you would expect cast iron to weigh. I'm pretty sure no one would know the difference. Okay, now I'm going to um, use just a little bit of this. Just lightly spritz it. I don't really want to use very much. But this won't be seen down here on the bottom anyway, so I'll get to test it out. That may be too much. We'll see. This is actually the first open-mouthed sculpture that I've ever done. I guess it was remembering that this morning. I was kind of thought, oh, that's going to be really hard. <laughs> and it's not. I used that because I had the plaster cloth over the, um, over the armature. I just uh, took all the padding out from inside of the um, beak and um, cut the cut the plaster cloth in half and opened it up so it started out uh, closed and I just opened it up and um, stuck it back together with more plaster cloth I didn't get any pictures of that I think it's dry enough now I can flip him over his feet are dry getting a lot of color here but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much, so I think it's going to be, it's going to work. You can see this is a really a pretty simple process. And I'll squirt it with the Tiffany green. Okay. I'll just let that um, work its magic and um, probably uh, seal it up in the morning. The raven is um, done now. I haven't uh, put on the final coat of um, matte varnish. I'll do that in a few minutes. I really like that um, the silvering in here. I hadn't expected that. I I've never seen that as, as a matter of fact before when I've played with this, but I really like it. Uh, really um, is something that is rather uncontrollable but it's kind of cool because it you know it just happens kind of the way it would in nature if you put a real cast iron piece out in the uh, out in the real world this is pretty much what it would turn into uh, so now I'm, I'm going to be sealing it to protect it to make sure that it doesn't uh, actually deteriorate <laughs> I think it's it's possible that uh, moisture in the air could uh, end up adding more rust to this, although I'm not really sure. I'm going to seal it anyway to make sure. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have another video up soon. Um, do come and visit us, ultimatepapermache.com. Bye-bye.